Hi, hello, I'm Marie Fashionista Sherry. And as always, if you love all things thrifted and vintage and second secondhand and DIY upcycled and refashions, absolutely subscribe because I share brand new rockin' Refashionista videos every single week. So let's just dive right in to today's project. <laughs> So because it is still spooky season, I went digging around in my overly extensive wardrobe and discovered a black shirt that I'm just not feeling anymore, as well as a pair of black lounge pants that I don't really wear because I figured, you know what, I can put these together to create an awesome look that can be dressed up, dressed down, and even worn as a costume. So let's get to making! <laughs> For this ridiculously fast and simple project, all you need is your top that you just aren't feeling anymore. And this is the one that actually appeared in my fast fashion versus thrifting expose video from last year. So I'll link that down below for you. Plus, of course, you need your comfy elastic waisted lounge pants and these ones I think are the ones I scored from the carrot app in one of my thrift hauls so I'll link that down below for you so you can kind of see the origin stories of these two items. So your top also has to have a very wide neckline or a stretchy neckline or a button-up neckline that is big enough to pull on and off over your bottom and your hips because that's how we're going to be getting this jumpsuit on and off. <laughs> Okay, so clearly the very first thing you have to do is put on your lounge pants and put on your top because we're gonna make this into a jumpsuit, right? Which is very, 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 very simple. We're just stitching these together, but we have to know where to stitch them together. And I will tell you, these lounge pants actually have a very high waist. I can go even higher if I want to, but I don't want to. But I'm just gonna put them at like my normal waist area and then I have a little bit more room down here if I need it but the shirt is actually quite long it goes down to about my mid hip area so the waistband and the shirt are not going to fit together nicely if you have this issue but you want to have a really low crotch then you know you gotta match it up like so just pull those pants right down if you like that low crotch look I am not here to show you how to make your own unique style. I'm here to show you how I make it and then you tweak my tutorials and you do whatever the heck you want to make it into your actual style. This is my style I make because I want to wear this. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is get the approximate length that the shirt needs to be in order to easily attach it to the trousers here. And these have like a paper bag waist, which is really lucky because I can just use this excess fabric here that's above the elastic waist to stitch them together. And then I don't have to worry about stitching through the elastic, but I do have to chop this to size. So just going to put a pin in there and um, I should have about two centimeters of seam allowance. So now let's go chop this and then we can stitch them together and it's gonna be done. And we're almost done. We just have to put these together. So I have my pants right side out and I have my chopped top here inside out. And I'm just going to pop the pants into the top. So then we're going to have the right sides facing together and I want the chopped edge, bottom edge here, of the top to be matched up with the waistband of the pants. And you can see here, all I'm going to have to do as I'm stitching is stretch this waistband. And of course, I will be using a tight wide zigzag because we want that stretch to remain. <laughs> And that's just the easiest stitch that I know to stitch these together. And I don't have a fancy serger, so that also does help to slow down and in some cases totally prevent fraying. Because you can see here, this top is pretty much fully polyester and where I chopped it, it's already fraying. But 
Now that's all I'm going to do is uh, go stitch these two pieces together. And it is all stitched together. So let's flip this right side out. And <gasps> look at that. The most perfect classy a black jumpsuit made from a shirt that I really never wore and a pair of lounge pants. And you know what? I think it's definitely time to go try this on and style it up. Okay, <laughs> this came out so much better than I thought it was going to, as do most of my refashions. I know I say that all the time, but truly, what I picture in my brain, I always think, oh, I can't do that. And then you know what? I can do that. So if I can do it, so can you. I taught myself how to sew, use a sewing machine when I inherited a very, very old vintage one at the age of 38. So again, if I can do it, you can too. You see, it is not difficult whatsoever. We, today, what do we, we sewed a top to a pair of lounge pants and made a stellar jumpsuit that, as I said, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it as this most awesome Halloween costume. And how easy is this makeup to do? I just used makeup I already had, black eyeshadow, black eyeliner, and you're laughing. And, um, you know what, guys? I think, uh... I think I got like one more costume coming up and it is of course the epic one that uh, I got that super sequin top for so stay tuned for that <laughs> and until next time stay safe stay well and I'll catch ya on the zigzag Fashionista